Hello again members of the squad. How are you all doing? How has your day or night been wherever you are? I'm hoping you all are doing great and you're happy and you're having a wonderful time. So thank you and a very very warm welcome to another episode of Brian Squadies. So today my fellow squadies, I want us to talk about how the media and the royal family has always um preferred Kate how they've always put Kate above Megan well that is no secret that is no rocket science i think that is something anyone can see and it's not like these people even hide their actions they have put it in plain at daylight anyone can see that they have always put Kate above Megan and there are plenty of reasons why i think these people are doing that you know just by observing kate by seeing how she is how she behaves around people does she seem like someone who totally respects herself because according to me i don't think that kate respects herself she has accepted to be treated um so horribly by uh, people such as william she has accepted to be a tool to the royal family she has accepted to be used as a doormat and i think that is one of the reasons why the royal family is always choosing her she has accepted her fate and she's choosing to be treated this way over and over again and like megan megan decided that she was not going to tolerate this abuse she was not going to tolerate uh, the unkind treatment by the royal family and the british media and no wonder these people saw megan and saw that she was totally different but kate she decided to take it all in and accept her, her fate she decided to accept her fate because Carol Middleton had taught her that way that she should do anything as long as she gets to be queen one day. The way I see it, the royal family loves someone whom they can manipulate, they love someone whom they can control and they have found that in Kate. But Megan, she said goodbye to that life. She didn't want any offers that came with the abuse, all the attacks. She didn't want any of that. She chose uh, her peace of mind and her safety. But you see, I absolutely have no sympathy for Kate. Everything that she is going through, I believe she totally deserves it. She is not a nice person either. Like the way she treated Megan while Megan uh, was still a working member of the royal family, it just shows you the kind of person that Kate is. Even as uh, she was named as one of the racist royals. From the start, Kate just was very unwelcoming to Megan and she treated Megan horribly. So, yeah, I believe that everything Kate is going through, she totally deserves it. Well, I don't believe that Kate Middleton is happy in her marriage. I don't believe that she is happy with a uh, where she has brought herself, but she just must suffer the consequences of her actions. And I also believe that with the royal family, there's this rule of when you're silent, you get rewarded. And even uh, recently, I saw this magazine written that as she turns 42, is the king about to give Kate a promotion? Well, I believe these people leak stories to the press and this is no coincidence. Probably, um, King Charles has already leaked a story to the press saying how he is going to give Kate a promotion so that people will not be surprised when Kate gets that promotion. All these people are birds of the same feather. They are people who dislike black or biracial people. They are people who dislike people who can stand up for themselves, people who cannot just take in any kind of bullying. And maybe they are rewarding her for her silence. They are rewarding her for accepting to be used anyhow by Prince William, to be treated anyhow by Prince William. Maybe that is the reason why Charles is rewarding Kate or wants to reward Kate during her 42nd birthday. Remember that Kate wasn't even uh, Prince William's first, second or third choice. 
she wasn't um, the top choices for Prince William to marry. But just because she persisted, stayed there, waited for William for almost six years, Prince William saw that this was the last remaining girl that was willing to marry him, so he had no choice but to marry her. Otherwise, the other girls, none of them wanted to marry Prince William. There's a long list of women whom Prince William wanted to marry before Kate, but none of them wanted to be with William. For example, there's even one whose name was Isabella Calthrop and if you google her, you'll find that it's written how Prince William had fallen for her in a huge way and wanted to be with her. But Isabella Calthrop didn't want to be with Prince William. I'm sure that she saw the kind of life that was awaiting her. But you know, Kate was really willing to accept that life she was willing to go through anything as long as she gets to be queen. So you can see that Kate and William are both rejects, the two, the two um, rejects who got united. That's why you see them so unhappy in their marriage because um, Prince William didn't want to be with Kate and also Kate was just there because she wanted to be queen one day. They are two united rejects who are very unhappy with their marriage. That's why you see them treating each other the way they do. You see how Kate is so desperate to hold William, but William doesn't want to be anywhere near Kate. You see the way William looks at Kate and you just know that there's no kind of a love for her. That's just how it is because Kate has accepted that she's going to be used as a doormat. She has accepted everything that she's going to go through as long as she gets to be queen one day, which is really pathetic. But you know, she deserves it, right? And I think it's pretty visible how unhappy Kate is. You can even see from the look of her face. This woman looks 50 years older than she is. And I even saw this very, very hilarious tweet. So LBC had written this tweet, uh, which mentioned the two white supremacists who had been jailed for their terrorism offenses after targeting Harry and Meghan and Archie. And you can see how these two people look. I mean, they should totally be ashamed of themselves. How can such people be bullying Harry and Meghan and their child? When you look this way, where do you even find the confidence to bully other people? And well, someone down there commented saying that Kate looks different without the makeup. Wow, that is really, really savage. Well, I'm just going to leave that tweet at that because I don't even want to stir more trouble. And you know, it's really also absurd to me how the media continue to promote William and Kate's marriage. Obviously, anyone can with eyes, anyone can see that William and Kate's marriage is not okay. These two people are not okay. In fact, they are not in love. Or if they are in love, maybe Kate is the one who loves William, but William obviously is not there. Like, his mind is totally somewhere else. But then... I just saw these recent headlights stating how uh, Harry and Meghan uh, failed William and Kate. And you're like, are, isn't it the opposite? Isn't it that William and Kate are the failed Harry and Meghan? They are the ones who are always trying to copy Harry and Meghan and everything. So truly, these people are, are beyond deluded with their headlines. I don't even want to continue talking about this because it's just so hilarious that these people actually think that they can put William and Kate above Harry and Meghan. And also uh, the way that they have always been praising Kate while trying to uh, diminish Meghan. Everyone can see the BS, everyone can see what they are doing. And people know the truth. People know what is going on. And we are always going to stand for Megan. We are always going to stand up for Harry and Megan. Well, let me know what you think concerning all these, what we have discussed. And I will see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing day. Goodbye.